Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today we are at an HK event right now. You can actually hear you know, the rounds going off. There's other ranges. I'm in the shoot house right now because it's not being used. I kind of snuck off to get some first impressions on the Holosun 509 enclosed emitter red dot. KSG Armory makes a high quality, affordable holster, whether outside the waistband, inside the waistband, or appendix carry. We are proud to have them in the holster consortium. Use coupon code ASP2020 at the link in the description for 10% off. Now, if you know me, you know I carry a 507 every day, right? So if you follow the channel, my HKP30 uh, has a Holosun 507 green in circle only. This particular one though, I know some people are like, John, I really want a closed emitter dot. And um, uh, again, and this is not a full review. I don't have a whole lot of rounds through this. I just wanted to kind of get a quick introduction to it. This is my first time really messing with one. This is basically the same dot in a enclosed emitter. So what you can see there is, is that it is a closed emitter dot uh, otherwise very, very similar to the 507. You can get it in green, you can get it in red. It runs through all the modes as well. So you can get that to set in dot, in dot circle, or in circle. You know, if again, if you follow me on ex extra, you know that I like the circle and I like circle only. So uh, I just wanted to get a few shots through it, kind of see what it's like, see kind of what it's doing here and how it's, uh, you know, if I can notice a difference between it and my 507. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is, is that this 509 does not seem to want to go into circle only. I don't know that they've included the circle only in the dot configurations here. So it's either dot or dot circle. Um, I find the dot circle too busy and I would prefer the circle only. So that kind of makes this less uh, appealing for me. But for some people, if you're not gonna run circle only, that's not a problem for you and that's totally fine. I'm gonna run it dot circle because I'm, I'm kind of used to seeing that circle and just kind of get some feel for how does the dot look to see if it looks similar to what I've got here. Okay, so dots tracking just like I'm used to, looks very similar. I, I, I think that the only thing that I'm noticing different from my 507 is the edges are squared up here, so it's not a rounded top, it's a squared top. The window, you might be able to see the window is um, rounded like my 507 is, but the top is squared. So that is ever so slightly different of a, of a picture uh, of what my eyes are used to seeing, which is not really in the end of the world. Yeah, that's pretty all right. Shot one a little high there, and that's okay. So um, let's go second mag. Little transitions. So, I mean, it's doing exactly what I'd expect it to do um, and, and looks great. Now, I, I think if you're open carrying a gun, that it's possible that a closed emitter uh, dot is better. If you are carrying on duty, obviously, then that has considerations as well. But for a concealed carrier, you know, I'm carrying a gun under my clothes. I don't think a closed emitter dot is necessary because I've shot uh, in classes in driving rain and in cold conditions where people are like, oh, fog and all that stuff. We fix that with cat crap. And, and uh, so I've never had a problem with a, a gummed up emitter. And I know some people are like, yeah, but what if it gets filled with mud or whatever? Uh, again, it's not a problem that concealed carriers have. I think for duty guns, you know, a cop that's gonna be rolling around with a bad guy might have to pull his gun out later. Yeah, that, that, those things can come into play. So having a closed emitter dot might be a value to a police officer. Of course, you know, they should have a, a holster with a, a, a Cheeto crumb cover on it that keeps that out for the most part. But I could see it. So if you wanted a, a closed emitter dot, um, cool. Uh, as long as you don't want to use the circle only, I think that this could be a contender. Um, is it the best one? Well, I mean, I think the battery life on it's pretty incredible and it's a little cheaper, right? So you're talking, I, I just looked this up, retail is like 430 bucks, something like that. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a relationship with Holosun at all. You can get Holosuns at Big Techs and I think that that is pretty cool. So today's Sunday gear review, a first hit on that Holosun 509 Interesting dot.